This video will explain how to set up and correctly use PartQuest with Pad Standard Plus Integrated Flow. We must first find our working directory for our pads installation. Go to the Start menu and type in Environment. You'll see a System Environment variable and click on this. Here we are looking for a WDIR underscore pads version. This is where the system keeps a lot of startup and initialization files for the tool. We will be editing a file on this location later in the video. Next, go to partquest.com and create an account or log in if you have already created an account. Click on your name in the top right and then My Profile. Here we can designate which default flow we are using for pads. For this example, we are using pads integrated, so I mark this as our current flow. I will download the PartQuest integration utilities. Ensure that you download the integration utilities with the correct flow. The integration utilities allow DX Designer to import PartQuest data very easily. Once the download is complete, I right click and open the folder that it downloaded to. I go to my C drive and create a new folder called PartQuest underscore standard plus. In this folder I place that .exe file and I begin installing the PartQuest integration. The installer will automatically detect the pads installation we want to use so I will install it here. When the installation is complete, I can go back into PartQuest and download a part. I search for MSP430, but before I click search, I make sure to click the symbol slash footprint box to ensure that we only look for parts that have a symbol and a footprint available for download. This search will query all of DigiKey's database. I click more on the first offering and I can see all of the parametric data that will be downloaded with our symbol and footprint. The AD symbol next to symbol and footprint notify us that there is a symbol and footprint available for download. Here I can favorite this part or add it to a project for download at a later time. I click on download and this will begin downloading the part in a .pqz or partquest zip file. Once the download is done, I open the folder that it was downloaded into. Here on the .pqz file, I just double click and it will begin the extraction process. It will ask me where I would like to extract these parts to. I will navigate to my C PartQuest Standard Plus folder that we just created and it will automatically unzip the contents for us. If we go into the C PartQuest Standard Plus file, we can see that it has downloaded a .edx file which will be imported into our central library. Now we can open up DX Designer and a project that we would like to import these parts into. Before we are able to import parts correctly, we must first go into our working directory that we located at the beginning of this video. Mine is located in C, WDIR, pads vx2.1. In here you should see a partquest folder and we will edit the partquest.ini file with a text editor. In order for partquest to work correctly with your existing database and databook configuration file, we must edit this .ini file to point to the correct databook database, library path, and databook dbc file. All of this information for your project can be found in Setup, Settings. In Project, we can find the central library path, and then in Pads Databook, we can find where the .dbc or databook configuration file is stored. When you have finished editing the partquest.ini file, all we have to do to import the partquest parts is go Tools, Import Partquest Parts. If set up correctly, the tool should automatically find where those .edx files are located for it to import. 
Click Yes and the tool will begin the import process. Once it is done, within PADS Databook, there should be a new partition named IC underscore PartQuest. We can now place the schematic symbol that was imported onto the schematic. Here we take a look at the properties on the right hand side of the screen and see that all of the parametric data that was on DigiKey has been brought in with this part into our project. If I right click and open hyperlink on the symbol, it will take us to the respective hyperlink. If I go to View, Other Window, Pads Decal Preview, and click on the symbol that we just placed, we can see what the decal looks like that has been imported into the library as well. If I go to Tools, Pads Library Tools, the library tool will open and we can take a look at the part that was imported. This part was imported into our IC partition under the name DigiKey. Here we can see the associated symbol that we placed onto the schematic and the footprint that will be used for this part in the layout. Notice how it has downloaded three different decals, one for the nominal, maximum, and minimum pad size for the part. This video should have gotten you working with the PartQuest integration with Pad Standard Plus.